This week, I was finally given access to the absence reports from the Alberta legislature, where I learned that former NDP MLA Stephanie McLean's absence from an entire legislative session was due to a pre-planned injury or illness. I personally spoke with McLean, and her response to my question was concerning at best. That's on today's episode of Meet Your Destroyers. We knew Steph missed months of work. It was obvious, but until now, we didn't know the reason for that. It sounds fishy, doesn't it? What's even more fishy is that McLean is alive and well, working at a law firm in Victoria, British Columbia. I know because I spoke with her on the phone at work. I recorded that, and I'm going to share it with you in a moment, but first, here's some background. So news broke on January 2nd, 2019, that McLean was resigning her seat. Coincidentally, or maybe not so much, the deadline had passed for a required by-election in her riding. If she resigned on June 18th, 2018, there would have been a mandatory by-election to ensure residents of Calgary Varsity had representation. McLean made sure that didn't happen. She's just like the rest of the NDP. She hates Albertans. She hates Albertans so much that she moved to the socialist bastion of Victoria, British Columbia, where her pal John Horgan is governing currently. I wonder how long it takes for her to run for the BC NDP. In Calgary Varsity, Notley's hand-picked Big C communist advisor Anne McGrath was slated to replace McLean, but there's no way a commie would win an Alberta seat with all eyes on her. Instead, she would run in the general election to save the NDP an embarrassing defeat. McLean pretended that she was just going to be an NDP MLA. She pretended that she was going to be an Albertan, for that matter. That's what I think, anyways. I called her. I wanted to get some answers for Albertans. Albertans wanted to know why did McLean earn $67,000 since the last time she verifiably did anything for Alberta. Hell, we can't verify she was even in the damn province. Cheryl Oates, an NDP operative in the Premier's office, even admitted that there was no evidence that Stephanie McLean actually did any work since her removal from Cabinet, as reported by the Calgary Herald. NDP MLA Stephanie McLean pre-planned two months' worth of absences from the Alberta legislature, so I called her to ask her what kind of pre-planned illness she had. I called her twice. Her receptionist had me call back later. Listen carefully to the first conversation. Here it is. Thank you, Ms. Vapor. Good morning. Hi. Uh, Stephanie, please. Who's calling, please? Kian. Kian Baxter. One moment, please. Thanks. Oh, actually, she's in. Sorry. She's in with someone. Oh, okay. I can call back later. It's fine. No rush. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Pretty normal, right? I thought so. So I called back in about half an hour and McLean picked up this time. Here, take a listen. Her receptionist actually answered again. Duncan and Faber, good morning. Hi, is Stephanie in now? Yes, one moment. Great, thanks. Uh, you'll just have to hold one moment. She's just gone uh, outside of the door for a moment, okay? No problem. No problem. And your name again? Kian. Kian, one moment. Hello, Stephanie speaking. Hi, Stephanie. It's Kian calling. Um, I was just wondering if you could tell me what the illness was or injury that you cited to the Speaker's office when you uh, didn't show up for the last legislative session? It was not required. Could you tell the media? Um, Albertans are just interested if you're going to repay the $67,000 that you earned without showing any evidence of work. Oh, I know. This is Rebel Media, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well... Are you going to repay the $67,000? Please don't lie to the receptionist at my work. Thank you. I certainly didn't. Now, McLean accused me of lying, which I cannot stand. I don't lie. The NDP, well, they do. And you heard the evidence for yourself. I didn't misrepresent myself. And I gave them a 30-minute head start with my very unique first and last name. The only person playing games here is Stephanie McLean, and she's playing games with Alberta. Did you notice the tone of panic in her voice when she said, oh, it wasn't required? to submit a reason for her injury or illness? Hmm, sounds like she's hiding something to me. What do you think? For the Rebel.media, I'm Kian Bexton. Hey, thanks for watching. I wanna know what you think Stephanie McLean is hiding, so be sure to comment below uh, what your theories are as to why she just disappeared from Alberta and ran to Victoria.